Greetings, humans. So, Monday, I, uh, Monday, I noticed inside of Dialogflow, I noticed all of a sudden, instead of it saying Dialogflow up here in the upper left, it said Dialogflow Essentials. And I thought that was odd, but I didn't think too much of it because I remember before it was called Dialogue Flow, it was called um, um, AI. Um, uh, it was called um, API.ai. API.ai. So Google actually acquired the company, and I think at the time it was called API.ai. But anyway, so so uh, when I saw the name change to Dialogue Flow Essential, I was like, okay, well, um, maybe it's just being rebranded again. But then I see then this because I, I subscribe to Google Cloud, of course, and so Monday I get a I I end up getting this video show up. The Dialogue Flow CX introduction. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. So then I end up over here. Dialogue Flow CX. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is point out what in the heck this is. First of all, the, the, the first reason why I have to do this is because there's virtually no information, there's no videos. Um, not that are in English anyway. So if you look, if you do a, uh, dialogue flow CX search, um, you know, we do something in the last week, everything is in, um, everything is in, in like French or something like that. But, but there's, there's no English dialogue flow CX tutorials or explanations or anything other than this one that was uh, released by Google Cloud. However, Google has taken the time to give us a bit of documentation. And that's what I've been going through, um, learning about the flows and everything, learning about the pages and uh, I have to admit, it's uh, it's actually quite interesting. Um, so I'll go ahead and just create an agent. So first of all, you can start off with one of the um, sample bots. I am you know I I'm not normally a big fan of of that because it's hard for me sometimes to tell what's going on but now we've got this flow builder so we've got flows over here we've got pages over here whereas before you know we had and you know just the intents and uh everything like this but now we've got these flows and it, it it kind of reminds me of uh twilio's approach when it comes to studio so if you remember my twilio studio tutorials um twilio studio has you know um the same type of flow you see they even refer to it as a flow and it's uh <clears throat> And it's interesting because so so now dialogue flow CX has the flows and you know we can test the agent right here we can select the environment just say something high okay and then it shows us right here the flow the default welcome intent we can see information over here about it agent settings In flow, in session, start flow. Um, telephony integration. So 
it, it has gotten quite robust. Um, they've seemed to have put a tremendous amount of functionality in here. And so there's a lot for me to explore and play with. Um, but this is right on the heels of me considering the Twilio um, autopilot bot over Dialogflow. So I've actually been um, trying to figure out which one. And I've been exploring with Amazon Alexa as well. But this Dialogflow CX has really popped up at a at an interesting time for me as I closely review Twilio versus Dialogflow and seeing what use I can get out of Amazon Alexa. Anyway, so as I go through learning Dialog CX, Dialogflow CX. I will make videos showing how to use it. Ask any questions. Peace.